Hey guys, Jared back. Haha, <laughs> look at me, I'm in front of the camera for once. This is actually a new style that I'm gonna try out for the next few videos. Gauge the audience reaction, see if this is something you guys are into. You know, it's, it's time for a change. You know, everybody always has their cameras facing down at the table and I just felt that, you know, I could put a bit more of a personal touch on things if I put my face in there, as well as my winning smile. So anyways, um, hopefully you like this new style. Let me know what you think at the end of the video in the comments below about this style. But um, anyways, and I, please don't ask questions about the background. I don't know what I'm saying. I know you're going to ask questions about the background, so I'll do my best to answer them in the comments below. Anyways, what I'm here to talk to you guys today about is Gravity Box, which is a fantastic exposed module for your devices. Um, if you guys don't know what exposed framework is, I definitely recommend you search on YouTube for exposed framework, and that'll let you know everything you need to know. Um, that said, once you've watched those videos and you said, holy smokes, that looks super cool, I gotta have it now, and you've installed it, we can move on to Gravity Box. So let's go ahead and move on to Gravity Gravity Box then. Alrighty, so um, in order to get to Gravity Box, there's two options. You can either click on one of the links in the description below to go dr directly to the Gravity Box module itself and install it manually, or uh, after you've installed um, Exposed Installer, uh, what we can then do is actually go to download here and just in the search box there, just type in Gravity Box, all one word, and it'll end up popping up with that right there. Now there's two different versions for Gravity Box. There's a Kit Kat version and a Jelly Bean version. So if you have Jelly Bean on your device, flash the Jelly Bean version. If you have Kit Kat, I'm pretty sure you know what to do. So once you've got that installed or downloaded, I should say, you wanna make sure you go over to modules here and you check that box. If you don't have that box checked, it's not going to install properly. Once you've checked that box, reboot your device. Once your device is rebooted, then we can start getting into some of the different customizations. So jumping in through the application tray, you'll notice we actually have a dedicated Gravity Box application. So we can open that up and this is where we start uh, doing a lot of the customizations. Now, pretty much every single customization you'll find in Gravity Box, you've probably already seen in ROMs like Sanogen Mod, Paranoid Android, AOKP, and many, many other um, AOSP-based custom ROMs. Um, and that is actually why the developer, as well as myself, I fully agree with him, do not f um, install Gravity Box if you're running one of those super customized ROMs. Um, like even like, say for instance, the Samsung Galaxy 4 stock firmware, if it's a, even if it's customized and it's rooted or whatever, don't do it because those ROMs are heavily customized and already have certain things baked in. You're you're just gonna bork your device up. Okay, so that said, if you do, and, and what I'm running right now on my Nexus 5 is actually a stock ROM, stock Nexus 5 ROM rooted, and that's it. That way I can get a clean um, sort of take on Gravity Box here. So let me take you through some of the tweaks that I've done myself that I thought were the coolest. I'm not gonna go through everything because it's gonna take forever. So starting out from the lock screen actually, you'll notice, hopefully you can see, let me just see in the camera, yeah, you should be able to see. We've got this little sort of green half arc around my um, lock screen uh, ring there and that's actually my battery status which I think is pretty cool when you do happen to plug in your charger uh, it will start making a little animation which is great now this has also got a little hidden feature on the lock screen as well check this out if I long press on the lock screen ring then I get to activate my torch right and I let go torch still activated and to turn it off all I got to do is long press it again and it turns the torch off which is great so unlock that and check this out, this is another cool one I wanted to show you guys, aside from the little thing that's up there, we'll get to in a moment. Uh, click on a text field. Generally speaking, a lot of these custom ROMs these days, they allow you to use the volume rockers as the cursors when you're you know, typing away. Say for instance, you make a spelling mistake, instead of sitting there with your finger trying to pinpoint where the actual spelling error is, you can use your volume rockers to navigate back to that particular letter, delete it, and you know, uh, make the correction. Um, well, some keyboards uh, like SwiftKey, for instance, have that option, but not everybody uses swift key so this particular option here you can actually have those cursors in the navigation bar itself which is really really convenient so I can be like blah 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 and then of course I can always you know go back a few and start you know deleting those letters which I think is really really cool you also notice that I do have a dedicated menu button which is really fantastic because I'm so used to menu buttons on my galaxy devices and others um, so there's that as well uh, up here at the top you'll notice we've got a little zero B slash s and that's actually my data speed slash Wi-Fi speed so whether I'm on data or Wi-Fi it'll um, show you your speed right there which is great for knowing um, how fast you're downloading things 
Now check this out. Uh, in addition, you guys have probably seen this in a few other, um, you know, ASP based ROMs, but uh, I do have the stock um, Android 4.4.2 uh, battery icon, but with the actual text on the inside, which is a very welcomed addition. Uh, pulling down, if you don't have any notifications in your notifications or pulling down from the status bar, actually jumps you right into your quick uh, tile settings, which is great. And check out the insane amount of quick setting tiles we have. Everything you can imagine, everything that you could need is right there, which is awesome. And of course, you can always customize this, rearrange it, change the colors and so on, which is great. Um, so uh, what else can I show you? I'm just trying to think here. Um, settings, oh, no, no, it's not settings that we're jumping into. We're jumping into gravity box. So in here, we'll just go really, really briefly through everything. Lock screen tweaks, all kinds of settings in here for you guys to choose from. Turning your AOSP based ROM into a fully custom ROM um, that you did all by yourself, which I think is a really, really cool thing. Lots of great options in there. Navigation bar tweaks. I don't know if this is where we just came from. I can't remember. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Okay, good. Uh, Pi controls. We do actually have Pi control. Check this out. Bam! Pi controls. So if you wanted to use immersive mode um, and you wanted to get rid of your status bar and your navigation bar, you can go ahead and take advantage of Pi controls so that you still actually have the ability to go back into your home screen and so on, which is awesome. Um, some different power tweaks in here, which is actually just your power menu. Long pressing the power button, power off, uh, reboot, which has all the options, soft reboot, reboot, reboot boot into recovery, yada, 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 screenshot, screen record, as well as expanded desktop, and that's it. <laughs> um, so that's great for that. And we've got display tweaks. So just a few display tweaks in here for you guys. Um, one thing I did want to touch base on actually is in phone tweaks here. And if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see that it's a smart radio. It's experimental. I'm not exactly sure what it does, though. If you're not familiar or you're not ex uh, experienced in reflashing radios to your device, I would recommend staying away from this just in case it borks up your device and you don't know how to flash a radio, which means now your cell service is gone, your Wi-Fi is gone, etc. Um, we've got some various different hardware uh, action keys for you guys there. Uh, one thing that some of you guys might find really interesting is the launcher tweaks. So we've got launcher tweaks here. Um, generally speaking, Nexus 5 doesn't allow you to control the numbers of rows and columns, but this actually adds that ability, which is awesome if you don't want to use a third party launcher. Uh, and then of course, last but not least, we have miscellaneous tweaks. So we've got various different things in here so you can adjust, uh, move around the uh, recent tasks bar. And that's actually something I haven't showed you yet. Jump into recent tasks here. We've got the RAM bar up here at the top as well as the um, clear all recent tasks button. So you can uh, rearrange that to top top right, bottom, blah, 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 uh, as well as the um, tasks bar. Uh, and then of course you have the torch auto off, which is set by default at 10 minutes. Anyways, guys, that is Gravity Box in a nutshell. I mean, I could spend more time, probably about a good half an hour going through every single tweak with you guys, but I'm not going to. So um, anyways, I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're running a stock um, Android ROM. Um, and it's rooted, obviously. And of course, you need to install Exposed Framework. But once you do that and you get yourself some Gravity Box action, I think you guys will be very pleasantly surprised with all the different tweaks and modifications that you can do with your device. Anyways, I hope you liked it. And I hope you liked this video. And I hope you liked this new style. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments below but that's basically it for this video though guys thanks as always for watching if you like the video click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos in the future that's it thanks as always for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one cheers